sorting is a fundamental algorithm. So let's see how can we do sorting in parallel. We're going to implement a parallel version of merge sort. Merge sort recursively sorts two halves of an array and we are going to do this thing in parallel. And then we need to merge the two sorted arrays into one larger sorted array. In order to do that, we're going to use two arrays, one of which is going to be a temporary array, and we are going to be copying elements between the temporary and the original array. We will implement parallel merge sort as the par merge sort method, which takes an array and a maximum depth that determines how much parallelization we will use, and it's going to have the side effect of making the given array sorted. We will start by allocating an intermediate array. We will call this array ys, whereas the original array was xs. And in order to use this auxiliary storage efficiently, we will alternate between using xs versus ys as the array where we do the work. The shape of parallel merge sort is similar to the shape of many other divide and conquer parallel algorithms that we have seen. In the base case, we are just going to invoke the sequential sorting algorithm. In this case, this will be a quick sort. Previously, we have triggered this base case when the segment length was sufficiently small. In this case, this is controlled using this depth parameter and we will stop parallelization when the depth reaches maximum depth. In this case, we are making use of the fact that there is no point to do further parallelization once we have saturated the parallel resources that we have on a given machine. The interesting part is when we have not reached yet the base case, we are going to then split the array in the middle, computing the middle point, and then we are going to recursively sort the first half of the array and the second half of the array. We are of course updating the depth as we proceed to smaller array segments. These two sorts are taking place in parallel. Each of the subroutines calls to sort the recursive invocations is going to ensure that the appropriate segment of the array is sorted. So we will have two disjoint segments of the array, each of which contains a sorted list of some elements. Now we would just like to merge these two segments into one larger segment that is still sorted. We will do this merge using the call to merge. What merge needs to do is to copy the elements from the original segments into a new one. For that we will use the auxiliary storage. Whether xs or ys is auxiliary storage is determined by whether the current difference between max depth and depth is even or odd. The flip boolean variable determines whether this is the case. According to the value of flip, source and destination will either be ys and xs or the other way around. So this is the definition of sort that takes the segments, the beginning and the end. In order to sort an array, we simply invoke this version of sort starting from zero and going to the entire length of the array. Merging of the array can be done sequentially. This is a function that takes one array, which is the source and then destination, and it's going to take two sorted intervals in the source array. And these intervals are given with the points, the beginning, the middle point and the end point. And it's going to write the resulting merged array into the destination. The version of merge that we are using in this implementation is sequential, so you can do it as you would do in usual merge sort. It is nonetheless an interesting exercise to think how one would implement merge in parallel. A simple operation is to copy one array given by source in this function into the target. How could we parallelize this? Let's assume that the beginning of the segment that we wish to copy is given by the from and the end by until, and that we are willing to do parallelization with the depth depth. In the base case, when the depth is equal to maximum depth, 
we are simply going to invoke a sequential array copy function. Otherwise, we are going to divide the array into the, our current array segment into two subsegments. And then we are going to invoke recursively our own function by copying the two smaller segments from middle to until and from the beginning to until middle. At each step we are increasing depth by one so that at some point we will reach the maximum depth. We can now compare the performance of parallel merge sort and the performance of the sequential quick sort. Here I have the implementation of parallel merge sort in the Scala prompt as well as code that is going to use Scala meter to compare the sequential and parallel execution. Let's run the benchmarking and see what the relative performance of these two versions is. We can see that we have obtained over two-fold speed up for the array sizes that we have considered on this machine. So we have seen the main part of merge sort, how to recursively sort two halves of the array in parallel. Then we have seen the, the merging part, which is also the fundamental component of the algorithm. For that, we have used a temporary array. And finally, we have seen a simple parallel copy operation on arrays that allows us to copy the temporary array back into the original array. Together, this gives us our parallel merge sort operation, and we have seen that it can, in fact, achieve speedups in practice.